Okay, we're back. I found the earring. And so for aesthetic purposes, we're just going to put it in. And this is what it looks like. And we're going to keep it moving. Okay, and so we were on our tart box. So the next thing I got from received, I hate the word I got. I hear a lot of people saying I got, I got, I bought. The next thing I bought from Tarte is the Tarte Everyday Naturals. This is a complete kit. Everyday Naturals Eye and Cheek Palette. This is the packaging. This is what the quads look like. Or the squares. This is not a quad. And those are the colors. Hopefully when this airs on YouTube, you'll probably see it better. But this is currently what it looks like. Um, you have a highlight shimmer. You have three matte shadows. A like a rustic um, shimmer here and a foundation and i think this foundation can also be used as a transition color uh for your eyeshadow i don't i see a lot of my favorite influencers um or self-made uh artists um giving away or uh stating that what I have for cheek, I don't like it for cheek, but you can always use it as an eyeshadow. Or what I have for eyeshadow, I don't like it as a shadow. You can always use it as a highlight or a um, blush or just a transition color um, instead of throwing it away is the gist of what I'm trying to say. Or, like I say, pass it on to other influencers that are up and coming um if you're going to give something away to friends or family that's great i applaud that that's fine but if you want to give back to the beauty community why don't you think about reselling or selling the items that you're not going to use or uh packaging them to another artist that uh is trying to build a collection I know for me, when I get to that certain point, that's something that um, I would like to do. And I, I think I'm going to also, um, you know, keep keep talking about this. <clears throat> okay. Um, so that was my small tangent. Next item is... I'm not sure when this came out either, but I love these colors. Uh, spicy bitch. Betch. So let's let's get it right. It's not the real word. It's B-E-T-C-H, but you get it. And um, this is the packaging. And these are the colors. I'm using my webcam because the mic on my iPhone is not working, but I do my videos. I kept doing my videos on my iPhone, even though the um, mic doesn't work. So when I transition from my phone to my um, um, photo editor, then I have um, when I transfer to YouTube, then you can hear the music. So my, uh, we'll get into what my channel is about. Cause like I said, I'm only have 15 subscribers and my views are higher than my subscription. <coughs> Excuse me. My ear is just bothering me. So I can't wait to use this package, this palette. Excuse me. Um, I think that's some, some really nice colors in there. So that was my collection of Tarte. And let me get that box. 
because once I got up, I had to scoot everything away to find that earring. Okay. <clears throat> so now, let's go into... These are some items I picked up from Macy's uh, Five Days of Glam. I'm going to put that whole Macy's box. And if you're a fan of certain sounds, this is going to be slash ASMR also. Because I'm moving stuff around a lot. Okay, in this... Um, Macy's five, uh, 10 Days of Glam um, in May. This is another um, cute little sale packaging I picked up. And I think this uh, retails for $34 and I got it for 50% um, off. Um, $12.50, I think, or $13.50. I always have the issue opening this. And this is by Origins. And this is their Silk Screen Refining Powder Foundation. And it's in the color 28 Nutmeg. Um, probably can't really see it here. That packaging just fell out. We are live, so anything happens, that's how this is what it is. Um, And that's the color payoff. And it is a powder. It doesn't dry, it doesn't go on powder and dry up um, matte. It, it's a true powder. And I'm um it's really silky. It doesn't have any glow to it. Let's see how it I have a dark spot right there. I want to see how it covers that dark spot. It's really silky. And I'm a person that has never had um, issues with acne or skin issues. So I can pretty much use any kind of foundation and make it work, make it match. Some lighter, some darker, but you can always uh, tone it down or warm it up. So that's a good... So now put this whole thing with my finger. And I don't see any patching or discoloration. It looks like uh, I have it on both sides, but I don't. But you can see that it covered up that dark patch that I have. And I have one right here. And let's see how it... And I'm just going in with a dab on my finger and rubbing it in. Now, I'm not going to do a full face on this side. I just wanted to see how it looked when I um, put it on. But I'm going to go into it with the sponge. And it looks like with the sponge, you get more coverage. It almost looks like too much coverage for me. But with the finger, it's really soft. It's not like you rubbing it and you got to have a uh, roughage. It's really, really soft. So this is Origins Silk Screen Refined Powder Foundation. And this is in the color 28 uh, Nutmeg. And this is, uh, I picked this up, again, from the Macy's 10 Days of Glam sale that was at the beginning of May or mid-May. And these are all the products that I picked up. No, oh, excuse me. Okay, 
there's a problem. So let's go back to that tarp. If you put on too much, it's almost like Vaseline or something really thick. So I don't know if it's because I put on all three or is it just that thick? It's really It feels good, but if you're talking and you have that little that little um, stickiness that sticks between your mouth, then that's not a good that's not a good sign. So we'll revisit that tart um, lip um, gloss duo. Moving forward. Um, I picked up uh, NYX Professional Makeup Swear By It Palette. And I think this also retails for like 30, between 25 and $30. And I got it for $12.50, I believe. Um, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but this has all your wines here all your blues and greens and all your browns yellows and neutrals this is the complete perfect perfect um eyeshadow palette if you want a big palette and i haven't opened it so let's open it this video is going to be a little lengthy y'all so bear with me um i was going to break it down but i want to unbox everything with you so i can not only gain following but also not limit myself uh, to just doing music and makeup just because of my uh, mic isn't working. I decided, okay, I was doing webcam chronicles before, so I'll do my unboxing and my review like this and then go into my regular video on my phone with makeup and music. So I just opened it. And these colors are a lot darker than what they appear on here, but I'm going to swatch. Let me set this down. Swatch a couple of colors. I'm going to do a shimmer and a matte in all the different colors. And I'll do a swatch again um, for the colors that I'll use to create my look. And this is a green. Let's do a yellow. The formula seems to be gliding on and it's not, doesn't seem like it has a lot of fallout, <clears throat> excuse me, it has a lot of fallout. So um, this week I'll be creating, um, I'm probably gonna start every morning um, around 10 a.m. Um, to just get some more content out there. And I'll start doing a quick video of what I'll be using, swatching it, and then using my phone to go back into the video. Okay, so I also picked up some PYT Beauty. And again, my disclaimer, I don't know how old or what when some of these products came out, but I was just uh, getting the sale uh, discount. This is PYT Beauty 
Beauty without the BS, bad stuff in parentheses. And this is a day to night palette, uh, eyeshadow palette. This uh, is a really rich and neutral colors. Um, you have Copper Run. This is Copper Run. Um, day Trip for the Crease. And it gives you uh, how to apply. And these, this is what I like. This is what I like in packaging. Um, if you're a beginner, this is a guide to show you how to apply, where to apply your uh, eyeshadow. Um, I remember years ago they had uh, Profusion had a package, uh, a notebook like that, and um, it gives you gives you how to apply the um, eyeshadow. And nonstop is for the outer corner. This is always, you know, people always use a darker shade for your outer corner. So this one is for your all over, your transition. This one would be for your crease. And this one it would be for your darker color. And later for your nighttime vibe, you would do happy hour, lid, crease, or corner. It depends on how you layer it, how you want to layer it. Rooftop. It's for your crease, outer corner, uh, and hmm, 2 a.m. Well, you know, ain't nothing going on at 2 a.m., but there we go. And this is for your lid and outer corner as well. So for me, this is how I would, and I'm just going to use my finger. For me, this is how I would layer. I was told. Um, and taught that you do your shimmer first and have it leading up to the top of your eye. Right here. Then you go into your transition color in that corner. I'm just gonna dab that transition color right there. I haven't done my brows or anything. Then you take that crease color Put it right in the center of your crease and you still have that shimmer up there. So it's really not messing up anything. And then let me wipe my finger off. And then you take that, that dark, the darkest color and pack it right on the outer corner of the lid. see and you haven't messed up anything when you do that that shimmer because that shimmer is still it's almost going like a diagonal then you take that darkest color pack it on I'm not a big fan of the cat eye or the wing not the cat eye the wing liner but you can create that with the shadow as well. And you can also bring that dark color right under your lid. And this is just for your nighttime vibe. 
I don't think this is just me. I don't think you should use a dark color during the day. Just as it says now and later. So this would be definitely your nighttime vibe. And you can also choose a different and pack this right underneath for a different color or you can use the same color. Just like that. And you can see that transition. And you can use your finger to blend it out. You don't always have to use a brush. And I'll go into my next video. Um, the brushes that I uh, have personally used for years. And that's it. It's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. And if you have hooded hooded um, eyelids like me, that's because you want to lift um, you want to lift that um, shimmer all the way up because it was it won't give you that that complete hooded effect. So that's how I would. Me personally, that's how I would layer it. And I am a professional artist also. Um, so this is PYT No BS. And I received this from the Macy's uh, 10 Days of Glam sale. Okay, next I received um, PYT Beauty Strike It Twice Lip Duo. And this is how the packaging is. This is like a, a burgundy or maroon color. And on this side is the actual lipstick. So let's swatch it. And that's the color. And I can't wait to do a full face with these and this is the gloss it's uh, lighter than it appears in the packaging but it's really pretty um feels good on the lips and it actually goes good with this color mm. so that's what we're looking like right there let's take this off So this is PYT Beauty Strike It Twice Lip Duo, and this is in the color After Party. And that's really pretty. For, for that look, I'm going to complete that entire look with the eyeshadow in this color when I do that video. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So next, these are all some randoms that I purchased um, again these are all for the month of May this is Vital Vita 12 Firming uh, Tony Molly and this is a skin plumping and firming
it goes on really watery but dries really tight and you put this on in the spaces where you want to tighten and firm that earring just fell out because I don't have the back so we're going to be testing this on our um, summer skincare routine um, I choose a skincare to do for the full month I don't want to uh, continue to try a lot of different products um, for the sake of review I pick last in April uh, from March to April I was using the Elemis system this one right here um, and if you follow my Instagram or my YouTube or IG um, you'll see that I've been using this one and this is going to come up on my empties the only thing that I haven't emptied is this is my setting spray and my um, the um, advanced night skin care so these two I still have a little bit of but these two I use for the month of March and April right now for the month of May I just started the Tula Beauty uh, skincare so I'm gonna continue to use that for May and June and then by July I'll probably have run out of that it'll be on my empties and then I'll uh, start using some of these I'll probably incorporate these uh, because they are supposed to be lifting and firming and this one is the vital Vita 12 brightening and this is supposed to this is B12 and this is A and these are Asian American brands so this is B12 and you know B12 is supposed to be good for your uh, uh, skin tone or, or skin in general B12 so we'll be reviewing 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 and I think and I'm gonna put this out there I think if you want to start a YouTube channel and you don't know what makeups to purchase and you're looking at what the influencers are purchasing or getting in PR for their um, review just start now shop the sales first some of the new collabs are in the sale as well because at, at some quarter they have to get rid of certain things and if it's not selling well they'll put it um in the sale item so start small don't try to uh keep up with the joneses uh at this point if you're just now starting a youtube channel i'm about six to eight months in and like i said on my instagram i'm an og i've been doing um instagram for for years um just didn't think it was a thing to uh get people to collab with you but i have been getting so many collaborations on ig um jewelry clothing you know everything so just start small use the the discounted um stores the drugstore brands you you know some drugstore brands are better than um the high end um but don't give up start small um especially if you're um yeah i'm a i'm a bit older um so i don't i'm gonna keep going you know the pandemic has opened my eyes to and i have a brand also has opened my eyes to a lot of different things and i've received a lot of free stuff um just by being consistent on instagram um 
and I'm learning now to be consistent on YouTube. But I think, and this is my honest opinion, I think YouTube standards and, and what they post or what they allow um, can be that their program should be different. Because people are, are, are using your content and you don't have that many followers, but they have 25, 35, 45, 55, and up. But they're using your your content. So I think those standards should be a bit different. So, okay, I'm, I'm done. You know, I, we, we'll have those different conversations later. In a blush, crushed oil infused gloss kit. And this is Bobby Brown Minis. And this is, uh, first color is Love Letter. I'm going to swatch these. That's Love Letter. Mm. It's almost like a, doesn't have a smell, but it glides on lighter than the Tarte brand. It's like, barely there, like really smooth. And that was the color Love Letter. I don't know if you can see that color. And this one is New Romantic. Mm. And if you like a really mauve tone because you use a um, lip liner, this this would be a good formula for a lip liner. Um, New Romantic. That's that's a pretty color. I'm not a big fan of lip liner. I like to use a darker lipstick or a darker lip gloss. Um, but I'm not a fan of lip liner or eyeliner. I use, um, most of the time I'll use a dark, uh, eyeshadow to line, uh, especially if you're getting a, a pencil because it, the summertime is coming, it's going to melt. Um, but you can use a line, uh, eyeliner and then add some dark, uh, eyeshadow over it so it won't run so that's one of my tips and I'll go to I'll be doing a video of my personal tips and tricks as well so this is in the color free spirit and this is a more brownie brown looking color And this will be a good for a dark brown liner too, or purple, like a burgundy color, not purple. Well, purple too, a burgundy color liner. So this is, again, uh, in a blush, crush oil infused that's the why it, it glides on it's a really a oil oil based gloss kit bobby brown and this is um a clinique kit as I've been saying the whole time, I'm a really big fan of kits. So in this kit, we have three, four. Um, this is Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion plus Very Dry to Dry Combination. So this is for very dry to dry combination skin. I'll pass this on to my children. Um, 
and this is Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, Lips. And this is a makeup remover and it has a bit of a oil in it as well, oil tint. And this one is, let's see, I can't read that. Natural tone of your lips to create a unique lip look. And this is supposed to help with the natural tones of your lips to create a unique look. Uh, this is like a lip base. So you would apply this with your liner, your lipstick. And it's doesn't have a scent. It's really light really silky, really smooth. I almost thought it had a, like a plumping effect, but hmm. it kind of took the color. You know, I have a darker lips, but you can't really tell with this on. It looks like it just matches the entire you know like it's one color like it's one lip color hmm. so this is fuses with the natural tone of your lips to create a unique lip color okay didn't give me let me see what the color is Almost lipstick, and it's in black honey. Almost lipstick, black honey. And this is the makeup remover. And this one is dramatic difference moisturizing, dramatic difference moisturizing lotion. And here we have the uh, mascara. This is the packaging and it's a mini. Like I said, it's a small kit and this is in the creates lusher, plusher, bolder lips. Lusher, plusher, bolder lips. So I'm going to take an intermission right here and I'll be back with more unboxing.